mighty name, we have worship. Amen. 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 We want to pray two or three prayer points very quickly. And I want you to pray as if you mean it. The first prayer point is we are almost everybody fails. Let me succeed. And I will give you a scenario. The reason why several people remain where they are today is simply because their parent has failed. When you look at the Bible very well, the Bible talks about a woman who went to a man of God and said, man of God, when my husband was alive, he's one of the bona fide member minister under you that everybody knows. But unfortunately, the prayers he was praying did not refill in his life, neither reflecting in the life of the family member. And therefore, do something about it. The only legacy the man left was indebtedness. He said, even the debtors, they are run, the creditors, they are run to do what? To take away the only hope that I have. If there is no job and there is a child that can take care of me, I think I will be okay. So, the father failed. So, failure extended to the life of the wife and the children. If your parents have good companies, group of companies, and you are one of the directors, and you are not married, whoever that is opportune to marry such a fellow, we know he has entered into prosperity. But when a father is still a cleaner in the office, collecting 10,000, 15,000 naira, how will he be able to take care of two, three children to university level? Don't let me deceive you. That is capital no. Because they have failed. I decree today. We are other people fail. You will succeed. I want you to cry and say, Father, by the reason of today's service, I will fail no more. We others are failed. Let me succeed. Let us pray. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, by the reason of today's service, I will fail no more. We are other people fail. I will succeed, O oh Lord. I will succeed, O oh Lord. I will succeed, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. The second prayer point. Like I said, when it comes to matter of prayer, uh, you don't joke with it. You can make younger when you are singing, but when you are praying, you don't make younger. It is somebody whose prayer is answered that knows how to pray. Your prayer will be answered. The second prayer point is, Father, turn my error to his tie. Hello? I will give you a scenario of my life. By the grace of God, when I was or your son by then, state choir leader in the Redeemed Christian Church of God in the 80s, as the conductor, we have compet competition every year between Lagos, or your Lagos State, or your State, Kwara State, Ondo State, only four of us by then. And I was the conductor for the Oyo State. And one of the things that the panel of George will look at is, we use glove, you must have a stick that will be using in conducting. When the stick drops down, they will minus five from your mark. If every mark you have is ten, then you will be minus five. Remain what? Five. That glorious day, we have done this practice, everything, and I got to the front as I was conducting. The stick fell. You know it should be minus. But God made this plus that day. Everything that is minus in your life, the Lord will turn it to plus. As I was conducting, the thing fell. Ah, I look at it that uh, today, 
the devil you are a liar. They will not mind us. There will be no minus in our life from today. I just dance. They thought I deliberately drop it to pick it and make it a style. As I pick it at the auditorium, the first auditorium, everybody shouted and they announced. They said plus five because of the style. And they didn't know it's a narrow. I want you to pray and say, Father! No more error in my life. Every error that my parents have made that extended to my life turn into a style today. Let us pray that prayer. Father, turn my errors to style. Every error I've made, every error my parents have made that put me in trouble today. Father, turn it to a style. 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 Father, turn it to a style, O Lord. Turn it to a style, O Lord. Turn it to a style, O Lord. Turn it to a style. Turn it to a style. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. We give you the glory. We give you Hallelujah. We give you all the glory. 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 We give you all One more time. We give you all the glory. We give you The everlasting Father, the omnipotent God, the reason for our living, our great supplier, our great healer, our protector, our savior, our light, our yesterday, our today, our tomorrow. The ever present God, the one that hear it by fire, the one that has been hearing us, the one that will listen to us this morning, the one that will turn our scarcity to surplus. Accept our thanks in Jesus' name. This morning, Father Lord, we pray that you will take charge of your word in the name of Jesus. Speak to us. Speak through us. Anoint our mouth. Whatever pronouncement we are making this morning, let it be stamped from heaven in the name of Jesus. We promise that at the end of everything, we will release the glory back to you because blessing will be us. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. Be seated. I'm reading quickly from the book of Philippians chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4. I want to read verse 19. Philippians 4 verse 19. But my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. I want us to please pay attention because I have a very short time to deliver the message after which we are going to pray. And I promise you I'm leaving the altar by 11.30. But be ready to pray. This is our season. 
is our time. We will not miss it in the name of Jesus. I want to speak on from scarcity to surplus. From scarcity to surplus. The Bible passage you have just read said, For my God that, my, that I serve will supply how many? All oh, your needs. Not according to his poverty, but according to his riches. If you want to regard anybody in the environment as being rich, we know we have the rich, we have the wealthy, we have people that are managing. At least we have uh, some amount, like uh, 500 or 1,000 to pay for the offering. And you have the leftover to take you back home. Yes. You are comfortable. You have gari or whatever thing you are going to take or fufu that we are going to eat at home. You are comfortable. But when you are talking about the rich, the rich will make a at least the book at the hotel or whatever which food do you want to eat, even at home? It will take them 10 minutes to be able to suggest the kinds of food they will eat. Which one do I eat? And when they finally arrive, are sitting rice. Another question. Which type? Jollof? White? Or fried? By the time he concludes, oh, maybe it's white rice. Should it be with... Then you have several things that will go along. But you know the way there are times, whether I believe it or not, at times they have the problem of when do I eat? Which one do I eat? Who is it that will prepare the food? Is it somebody that will poison me or whatever? But if you are the one trekking, you don't have a bike, who is it that wants to poison you because of food? You can just buy boldly by the main road and granite and uh, you have one pure water you're on your way but even if the wedding one will drink pure water they have a problem of which hand that will bring the pure water what has he done to this pure water on his or her way to where I am but don't let me deceive you one is better than the other when you have just two change of clothes you don't have a problem just to make sure you wash. But when you have more than 10 or 20, the problem is, which one did I wear last, last week? Which shoe did I put on? Then which one do I use this one now? Okay, we sat. If I'm using navy blue, should I put white? Should it be another color? But if you have only two, you'll be changing it. But the level will change this morning. I said the level will change. I decree for somebody who has always been assisting. They always convey you by the main road to your office every day. Very soon, the person will not find you there again. The next time he will see you is when you will be waiting and say, what's the problem? They will see you with one beautiful and fancy car coming. And when you get to that stage, they've been waiting. You now come by his side. Then you press the button. It's not a matter of manual whining. When you press the button, the thing goes down. He said, What? You say, Ah, ah. We will see in the office. Only we will see in the office because if you begin to narrate the story, it will take time. Very soon, at that spot, we are people who are always meeting you. They will not see you there again. Because when you look at the story of these people, they are the four lepers. The lepers are always kept at the lepers colony. They don't go out to see people. They have no friend. They, they are known as dirty people. People that will not 
associate with their colleagues. There are several things that have been dissociating you from your colleagues. It's simply because you are the lower level. By the reason of today's service, the Lord will lift you up. Oh God, do you hear me? I said the Lord will promote you in the name of Jesus. The lepers have been there for a long time, but they said one day, why should we die here? Do you know one thing? When you are reading the, the scriptures there, and the Lord was giving me another topic, that I will not die there. I will not die there. Where the enemy thought you will die, they will find you there. Because you are a living soul, you are not meant to die prematurely or to die poor. God does not plan that one for you. I decree that every plan of the enemy for your life shall be forfeited in the name of Jesus. If you can say amen that is greater than that of your neighbor, God the miracle in the name of Jesus. If you believe, shout hallelujah. From scarcity to surplus. According to the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 1. Ecclesiastes 3 1. The Bible says. There is season and time for everything here on earth. Listen to me very well. Drop everything you are doing. And focus attention on the altar. Where your miracle will come from. When we come to the altar we don't play. I may be smiling. But yes, I want you to turn from the fire that is coming out. That fire will burn all the dirtiness of your lives in the name of Jesus. There is a time to weep and there is a time to laugh. I decree today, in whichever area you have been weeping, the weeping ended today. I said the weeping ended today. I decree, begin to laugh. Begin to laugh. Begin to laugh. In the name of Jesus. There is a time to sow. And there is a time to reap. Several people have been sowing into several lives. But they are yet to reap. The Bible talks about um, Jacob. That in Genesis 26 12, Genesis 26 12, he sowed in a strange land. And the same year, he did what? He reaped. If you sow, you must reap. If actually you want to move from scarcity to surplus, you must do what? You must sow. Our first is always greater than the sowing. Let me give you a scenario of recent. I won't tell you the time. That very day, I woke up and I was blessing people. When I see this one, I give 1,000, 1,000, 500. At times, I was asking myself, ah, what's the problem? And the teacher said, keep on giving, keep on giving. I was giving. I was giving them. I said, ah, yes, I learned you did your uh, birthday just of reason. Ah, let me give you something. I gave them. The evening of that day, Somebody that's supposed to have blessed me since May, when I ce celebrated my 68th anniversary, who's supposed to have given me something? Was just postponing it. And just saw me and said, Ah, my friend, let's see you. He said, Ah, my uncle, let's see you. I said, No problem. By the time he saw me that evening, he gave me a check of 25,000 naira. If I refuse the Holy Spirit, by sun in the morning, will I be able to reap in the evening? No. I decree today, every tight you have been paying, that is if you are paying tight, oh, if you are not paying tight, if this prayer is not for you, but it will be for you if you start paying now. Because I'm still going to pay. For anybody that is tightening, I decree things will not be tight with you in the name of Jesus. And if you will join the queue this morning, things will no more be tied within the name of Jesus. 
A time to plant. A time to harvest. A time of scarcity. And a time of surplus. But brethren, there is an appointed time for everything. There is appointment time to sow and time to reap. If you want to sow today, you want to reap today, you must be joking. Except God plans it. For example, if you plant a maize, what happened? Within two months, within two months, you reap. If you plant beans, don't expect anything before three months or more than that. If you plant yam, will you be expecting to harvest it within two months? That will be one year. But one is better than the other now. The way you can store yam, you can't store the other one like that. It will get spoiled. But you must make sure you plant. There is a point in time for everything. You must wait for your own time. For example, let's look at the book of Job, chapter 14, verse 14. Job, chapter 14, verse 14. He got to a stage. Job was at the crossroad. He asked a question, and nobody answered him. When there was nobody to answer that question, he answered it by himself, by the Spirit of God. If a man die, shall he live again? With question mark. Nobody answered him. If a man die, do you know there is a sermon on that? If a man dies, shall he live again? Yes. No. I don't know. That's a sermon on its own. But he finally concluded, well, if nobody answer me, all the days of my appointed time will I wait till my change come. I will continue to pray until changes occur. I will not be weary. I will not be tired. The Bible says, he who waits on the Lord, he will renew their strength. Isaiah 40, 31. From 28 to 31. They will mount up like eagle. If you wait on the Lord, there is an appointment time when God will tell you and say, take. Today will be your appointment time in the name of Jesus. It will be your appointed in Jesus' name. What do you do then? If you find yourself in scarcity, I will quickly mention and we pray. What do you do? When you find out that that's what you ought to have gotten, you don't have them. You are living in scarcity. You want to pay the children's school fees, no money. You like to purchase kind of a cloth, no money. Until you borrow, you cannot do the ceremony. You are living in scarcity. But today, you begin to live in surplus. Let give me let me give you a scenario. When I was in Lagos, even as a zona pastor by then, we gave a testimony of how God supplied needs for somebody. And a woman came to me in my office and said, Daddy, I'm preparing for the wedding of my daughters. And I don't have anything. I say, Mommy, by the time you conclude that wedding, you will have surplus. Ah, and say, Amen. She left. So by the time she congressed, she came back. She came with a, a bottle of wine. He said, Daddy, as, I'm, as at the time I was talking to you, no cobble. But I decided not to borrow because you told me there will be surplus. Daddy, I have a bag of rice at home now. I have meat. I have this. I have that. Daddy, this is your home. There is somebody here. By the time God concludes with you, you will ask God, do I build a house for God? Or do I buy a vehicle and give to the church? Because the blessing is coming. Ah, do you believe it? You will not die. Number one, what we do? You cry out. We don't read. But in the book of 2 Kings 6, verse 26. 
2 Kings 6.26 A woman cried. Ah! The creditor has come to call her the child. What did she do? She cried. The first thing you will do is to cry. God! Enough is enough to scarcity in my life. I need surplus. Number two. You believe that there is no help from any man except from God. If there is no other, there is no other help. Psalm 121 verse 1. Psalm 121 verse 1. David said, I will lift up my eyes unto the Lord. We are coming my help. First two says, my help will come from the Lord who created heaven and the earth. Number three, you believe God. And when you believe God, miracle is on the way. You know that's exactly the Bible says, believe in God, thou shalt be established. Believe in his prophet, thou shalt do good. You will do good in Jesus' name. Brethren, it is your time now to be visited by God. But if God will visit you, will he meet you where he's expecting you to be? There were several people who were supposed to be in the church this morning. But they will tell you they have a ceremony, whatever, whatever. After coming back from the ceremony, they still be swallowing in their trouble. They'll be swallowing in sin. Get out of where you are to where you should be. Stand to your feet. Second Kings seven three. Now the first prayer I mean uh, something. Second King chapter seven verse three. And there were four lepros men at the entering in of the gate, and they said one to another, "Why sit we here until we die?" Prayer point number one. Say, Father. Relocate me where I am now to my normal location. Where my allocation will locate me. Relocate me this morning, Lord. Relocate me, Father. Relocate me. Relocate me from where I am now to my normal location. Where my allocation will locate me in the name of Jesus. Father, relocate me. Father, relocate me. Relocate me, O Lord. Relocate me, O Lord. Relocate me, O Lord. Relocate me, O Lord. Relocate me, O Lord, Father, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In the book of Esther, chapter 2, verse 1 and 4. Esther 2, 1 and 4. The Bible talks about Esther. The first city made an narrow. And the Esther replaced. You are going to pray and say, Father! Whoever that has occupied my, not my position, let him or her make an error that will not be corrected. For me to get back to my position. Pray the prayer now, Father. Whoever that has occupied my position, my position of honor, my position of dignity, my position of promotion, my position of success. Whoever that has all by it, Father Lord, let them make an error. Error, Lord, that will not be corrected. For me to get back to my seat, let them make error. Let them make error. Let them make error. Let them make error. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In the book of First Chronicles, chapter 4. Verse 9 and 10. First Chronicles 4, 9 and 10. The Bible tells when you look at it. You'll be thinking that the Bible made an error. Nobody knows you. Nobody wants to know you with your story. But when glory comes out, they locate you. Everybody is a friend of a worthy person. And everyone is an enemy of a poor man. When, they, when your friend knows you are coming to his house to eat, he may tell the, he may tell the children and say, please pack everything. That useless man is coming. But when you have everything surplus, even what you don't need, they'll quickly bring it. 
When you get to there, there is no money to buy Coke. They go and buy juice because they know after juice, something will still juice. Hello? Am I talking to somebody? When you give juice, they know that when they are going, what they will give you will be more than the money for. But when you don't have anything, you ask for water. They say, we are very sorry, oh, no pure water at home. Getting water from the tap. God will change your position. You are going to pray and say, Father, eradicate poverty completely from my family village. Pray that prayer, Father, eliminate all of poverty. Lord, from my lineage, eliminate poverty. Eliminate lack in the name of Jesus, Father. Eliminate poverty from my lineage, O Lord. Eliminate poverty. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In that first Chronicle 4, 9 to 10, the Bible says, Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. And the mother calls his name Jabez because he born him in. Could somebody born in sorrow be honorable? But uh, sorrow was the past tense. The present tense is honorable minister. Honorable minister. God will honor his word in your lives and family in the name of Jesus. You are going to pray and say, Father, place me back in my position of honor that will bring out the glory of my family. Pray that prayer in the name of Jesus. Father, Lord, place me back in my position of honor. Lord, such that will bring my family glory, Lord. Do so far. In Jesus' mighty name we pray pray and say father every sign every signal of poverty in my life terminate it completely let us pray father in the name of jesus i pray today every sign every signal of poverty terminate it completely in my family father terminate it Father, terminate it. Father, terminate it. Terminate it, O oh Lord. Terminate it, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Before I pray for you, I want us to close our eyes. The most poor person is the one that commits sin and never willing to repent. When you go on in that say, the devil will be blocking the way. If you want to give your life to Jesus Christ this morning, or you want to rededicate. You are not. You don't always pay your tithe. That's the reason why things are tight, tightening with you. You don't know how to give. That's the reason why nobody gives you. You don't know how to give praise to God. That no one, nobody praises you with their substances. We want to give your life to Jesus Christ this morning. Just raise up wherever you are. I want to pray for you. Or you want to rededicate. Father, I'm ready to rededicate. Enough is enough to poverty my life. I want to have a change of position. I want to have a change of level. Lord, this sin that I'm committing, take it away from me. If you can raise it up, I'll pray for you within a minute. And we're on our way. If you want to raise up, raise up your hand. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Can you please come? Let me pray for you personally and lay hands on you. Things will change from this morning. You will have a change of level. From today, your family will begin to look on you for help. Every miracle that has been running away from your life, they will begin to come to you from now. Tell the Lord, Father Lord, change me for better. Change me for better. Everything that I, every sin in my life that has been blocking my way. Father, today, take it away. Take it away. I don't want to remain in poverty. I want riches to be part of my lifestyle. I want everybody in my family to begin to look up unto me. Today, deliver me from the power of sin. Deliver me from the power of Pharaoh. Pray. As I come now, I lay hands on you. And I know the Lord will deliver you completely. Thank you, Father. Rainbow Shendra Mataramazan de Lindro Moyendro. Embro Mosumbra Maramazan de Lindre Meshinkra. Marondo Lomosobra Maramaskam Roboshinkri. Yendre Meyembro Moroboskumbra Mazandra Mataramazan de Mushendro. Mezonda Limbro Mosumbra Mataramazan de Lendra. Indre Meshinkri Metekri Bostom Promoshendra. 
Maranda la mayamro moro mustondro mushendra Hiri gele mosombra mataka bushenkere mustondro Mozanda lindre me yendre me stembro Hiri kengre mosandra matanda Thank you eternal father Blessed be your holy name Lord In Jesus mighty name we pray Father we thank you for your word Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus The Bible tells us that you are the caller that will never call in vain You have called this your children Father Lord confirm they are calling in the name of Jesus. Every power of sin in their life destroyed it completely in the name of Jesus. Ability to relieve themselves completely to the Lord. To surrender completely. Give unto them in the name of Jesus. And I decree everything the devil has stolen from your life by the reason of the sin you have committed. The grace of God Double grace of this month will restore them to you in the name of Jesus. You will fear no more. No more scarcity. As from today, receive power to serve God. You are established. You have testimony. In Jesus' name, I pray. Father, Lord, for everybody here today, we pray. Let your miracle begin to roll up for us. As from this morning, in the name of Jesus. For whoever that can say better, amen. The Lord is taking your seat out of the poor people. You will be located among the rich. In the name of Jesus, I command in the name of Jesus, poverty, live your life in the name of Jesus. Poverty, live them alone in the name of Jesus. Prosperity, become their friends. So shall it be. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have decreed. Set three powerful amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Let somebody shout hallelujah.